start to manage differently and reduce the amount of chemicals that go on your field through pesticides, herbicides, chemical salt fertilizers, or acid-based fertilizers, and even the wormers that you give your horse. All of those chemicals impact the soil and whether your manure will sit on the surface for years and not break down and host parasites or whether your manure is actually quickly digested and turned back into soil. So we don't actually remove the manure from our fields. We encourage it to break down really fast and it's taken a couple years of managing this way for it to start really breaking down fast. It's good to start being inquisitive and curious with an open mind and looking and seeing what happened here that made it a different growing condition. And is there anything I can do as a manager to accelerate that? So um, I had spread compost in this field last fall. The fall is a great time to spread compost. And I did it because I've been soil testing my fields for microbes and they were not quite where I need them to be. And I found a compost with the right microbial balance that would move my system in the direction I want, which is more fungal and more diversity in general. And I wanted something with more protozoa, which the protozoa are responsible for the nutrient cycling, providing soluble nutrient to my plants. So looking in this patch, I can see that our manure spreader, we used our own manure spreader and it, it was very um, clumpy. Sometimes a big clump fell out. And sure enough, this is a clump where there's more compost on the soil. In fact, you can still see some of the black dots, they're actually little bits of the compost. They're not actually black, they're really dark brown, but they look almost black. And um, that's still some of the compost left. And so that's showing me that that compost stimulated the growth of my plants quite a bit. Now the other thing I wanted to point out is what does an earthworm casting look like? Um, these are night crawler castings. Um, there's some different earthworm type species that some of them burrow vertically in the soil like night crawlers and some of them can move around in the soil profile like red wigglers and they produce different kind of looking poop but basically this lighter brown ball that I see on the surface is where the night crawler has gone down has come up to the surface to feed gone down back into its burrow and produce a little bit of poop on the outside so that's a really good sign um, and that's also why my soil is doing well because stimulating the growth of earthworms is stimulating the plants a lot. So. And then you see an area like this where he didn't graze. And if you're just standing outside the fence and not walking around in your fields and not really being observant, you might think, well, he has extra grass. If this was your only grazing that you had, you might think, well, that horse has grass. But this grass is unavailable to the horse, and I wanted to point it out. If you look down in it, it's got manure pads in it that are broken up and they're becoming soil and they're feeding the soil but that horse knew and he, he tasted this grass and it, it was not it probably had too much nitrates it didn't taste which makes it taste bitter and it, it, if the horse had to it was forced to eat this those nitrates would cause upset in his digestive system 